going. I have another decluttering video for you. I really wasn't planning on doing another one so soon. Um, however, I've just got the decluttering mood, the decluttering bug, like whatever you want to call it. I am obsessed with this. I have been watching like nothing but minimalism videos on YouTube. Not really nothing but. Um, I'm in the middle actually like as we speak I just paused it to film this video while I'm still kind of awake um, and watching the minimal it's just called minimalism a movie that's on uh, Netflix so you guys should watch that if you're interested in anything minimalism I'm actually if I counted correctly minimizing or de decluttering by 56 items today um, some of these are my husband's items because he has recently gotten in the in the mood as well or ca caught the bug of minimalism as well um, so I just figured I would throw his things in the video too because since we share a space it is things going out of you know my mental space and his mental space we're both going to benefit from the other one deciding to minimize our things so yeah I'm going to start with makeup and then move to everything else. Um, most of this stuff is going to be given or donated or sold depending on the item and what, you know, what it's worth, I guess. So the first thing is a wet brush. Um, I got this in a beauty box. I have other brushes that I like and so I don't need any of the hiccups. I don't need another brush because like, why would I need more than one brush? I'm getting rid of one body butter that is from the body shop in the scent um, candy apple. I'm pretty sure it's old, so I'm not going to continue to use it. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm getting rid of six more nail polishes. Uh, this black one is the one I have on my nails right now. It is so unbelievably... I thought that was going to break there's tile in this room it didn't break um, that one was just insanely goopy this one this black one um, smoke and ashes from China glaze is insanely goopy I tried to apply it on my nails today it looks absolutely horrible after I'm done filming I'm going to take it off and reapply because reapply something else because this one is obviously um, not sticking around <clears throat> I'm getting rid of China glaze QT um, just not a fan of the color getting rid of China Glaze um, four leaf clover it doesn't spread evenly and it looks like I think it's gone bad getting rid of forever 21 nail color um, I don't think it was ever called anything it's just a really crappy nail polish I have multiple nail polishes in that color as well so I don't need to keep um, ones that I don't love around and I kind of stick to the same neutrals or reds or hollow nail polish I'm also getting some nail polish from uh, my husband for Christmas, so I figure I don't need to keep around with nail polish that I don't like when I'm gonna get um, a few that I really like and I hand selected and I did a lot of research on the ones that I liked um, so that I get ones that I want to keep in my nail polish collection. I'm also getting rid of watermelon rind. It looks like it's gonna be super glittery and it's not and it doesn't look pretty. So that was all for nail polish. For perfume, I'm getting rid of a few. I'm getting rid of my Victoria Eau de Parfum. I think that's all it's called from Victoria's Secrets. Um, Rollerballs are gross because you can see all the dead skin cells and gross gunk inside that has rolled off of your skin back into the perfume. I really don't like rollerballs for that reason. Um, so back like about a year ago I told myself I was going to try and use up all of my rollerballs so I don't have to deal with that looking at that it's so gross. Um, however I didn't end up committing or sticking to that commitment and I still have a few rollerballs and this one I've just decided to get rid of now. I'm also getting rid of a Chloe um, perfume sample. I'm getting rid of a Clean Rain perfume sample and a Clean Laundry perfume sample. Oh, and one more. Um, Hello by Harvey Prince perfume samples. I just don't want any of these. They don't bring me any joy. <clears throat> Alright, I'm getting rid of this holder and the deodorant inside of it. It's a naked deodorant from Lush called Aromaco and I accidentally left the top off of this for a couple of days and the deodorant is completely dried out. I already bought a new one so I'm okay with getting rid of this. Also I don't want to keep it in this um, 
container anymore. I'm going to can keep it in a empty Lush pot that can fit where I keep uh, my husband's deodorant, which is in a little like medicine cabinet in the bathroom. This doesn't fit in there, so I've had to keep my deodorant in the bedroom. But since I get ready in the bathroom, I feel like um, I want my deodorant in the bathroom with me. I'm getting rid of some makeup. Um, the Temp2 like highlighter in Champagne Shimmer. I think. This is separated, number one, and I think it's supposed to go to an airbrush makeup machine that I don't have. A um, Benefit What's Up uh, highlighter. I um, have another full one, and I've had this for a really long time, and I don't need two. A Lush Ultra Balm, all-purpose all balm. It's expired by a month. I've never found a reason to use it, so I just need to get rid of it, because I literally have never found a reason in my life that... Um, it would work for me. This is the Lock by Tati um, Cream Eyeshadow Stick. Uh, it's a sharpenable stick and I don't have a large sharpener and I don't need that. I have two mascaras. One is the Roller Lash from Benefit and one is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. They both have been like half used and I just don't need them because I have full mascaras. And I know I'm not going to buy them. <clears throat> I have the Clinique Chubby Stick in Lavish Lilac. It's a eyeshadow stick. And I don't like lilac eyeshadow on me. <clears throat> Two Bella Pierre pigment eyeshadows. One is in light pink and one is in um, a lavender color. They, I've had them for longer than I want to admit. I'm getting rid of two nail clippers. I only really like nail clippers that have the thing that will scrape up the stuff from underneath your nails. Um, and then a tweezers. I get my eyebrows um, my eyebrows threaded and I just never find a need for tweezers. I still have one more pair of tweezers but I only want to have one pair of tweezers and one pair of um, nail clippers so I'm getting rid of these. Two water bottles. I'm actually insanely sad to get rid of this, um, but somebody dropped it at my work and the hole inside of it is cracked, so the water goes through to the outer layer, which it's not supposed to do. Um, so I would be like drinking out of this outer layer, which you can't clean, so I can't continue to drink out of this. I'm super sad. I love my hollow cup. I love anything hollow. I'm a hollow sexual. Um, if you guys watch the Simply Neological, I love hollow stuff, so I'm really sad to get rid of this, but there's nothing that I can do about it. Nothing at all. And then this um, water bottle, I'm going to donate, of course, um, it says cereal chiller on it. And me and my husband are both getting hydro flasks for Christmas, so we don't need any other water bottles. If we come across any other reusable water bottles, I'm probably just going to get rid of them because I really only want to have the one high quality water bottle instead of what we used to have, which was tons of low quality, inexpensive, that we just pick up from everywhere. Ended up with so many reusable water bottles and cups and stuff. Getting rid of a rewards card that I have literally never used. I don't even think I activated it. It's from some website called Plenty. Just why? Why do I'm getting rid of three intimates? A Bob's Red Mill um, milling team shirt that I never wear. I absolutely love Bob's Red Mill, and I'm so happy that I got to experience the tour at the Bob's Red Mill factory. But I just don't need the shirt. A pair of yoga shorts. <clears throat> what is this? And a long sleeve old navy top that I just have a lot of black tops. I don't need every black top in my clothing collection. A pair of yoga pants that have a hole in the middle because if you have leg, I mean if you have legs, if you have um, thick thighs or big fat thighs <laughs> then you have probably rubbed a hole in them before and that's what happens to like all of my leggings eventually. Um, where is that? Okay. This shirt that was a um, like a nightgown, like a t-shirt dress nightgown but it shrunk and it's just too short like it's not no longer a nightgown it just would be a sleeping shirt and I have plenty of sleeping shirts oh this shirt was cute uh it has like a built-in collar kind of thing I've worn this in a video before um it just 
also is too short for my liking. I like things that normally cover my butt. Um, not every time, but it wasn't ever, it, it was kind of ill-fitting. It was too boxy. Um, this shirt, I have a lot of these. I think I'm decluttering two of these kinds of shirts from Cotton On that are just too see-through for me. They show everything. This one too. Is another one. See? You could imagine that on in the Arizona sun. You could see all through my boobs. And I wore that to Disneyland once. And you could see my boobs everywhere. Um, yeah. Especially, I mean, now that I don't even wear a traditional bra, I just wear bralettes, which are see-through. I can't wear see-through shirts. Yeah. This is a pug um, night shirt. I don't, just don't want it. <clears throat> This is a sweater I really debated about because I really like the sweater, but I have it in two colors and I enjoy it more in the other color, so I'm getting rid of this one. It is like skin colored. So yeah, that skin color isn't very flattering. I also debated really hard about this dress, but I got it in black as well and I wear the black one. Uh, or I got it in the same shape, like a dress that's the exact same shape and fit, but in black. So I'm keeping the black one, obviously, because I just bought it to replace that because I wear black clothes like way, 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 way more. Um, this is a green cardigan that I wore in my engagement photos and I love it in my engagement photos and it made me want to keep it, but I just haven't worn it. I probably, since my engagement photos, which was like, what, two years ago, I probably worn it and like maybe less than 10 times. So I can't justify keeping it because it's just, it's kind of teachery. If I was still the a teacher, I could probably see myself, um, wearing that to work but not doing that anymore this cardigan um, is really really long and I kind of like it my husband said why are you getting rid of that I really like that but I just don't wear it now I think some of my husband's clothes this is a, a dress shirt when he used to work at a job that required him to wear dress clothing um, and he doesn't like the way that the gray looks with his his nice fancy suit that he wears for special occasions so there's no point in keeping it because he doesn't have to wear that type of attire anymore and it doesn't look good with his formal attire um this date night shirt that my husband affectionately calls his date night shirt because he used to wear it to like all of our dates um it doesn't fit anymore <clears throat> this is a shirt that he used to always wear to the coyotes games when we would go to the coyotes games but now he has a jersey and he said that since he bought the jersey last season um he doesn't think that he's worn that shirt at all um this shirt is a white shirt that has um shrunk to i think it has a stain on it but that we couldn't get out so he decided to get rid of it this is one of my sweaters that just doesn't bring me joy anymore so I'm getting rid of it. A off-white top. Um, I would have, or like a kimono kind of thing. If it was full white, I probably would have kept it, but it's off-white. Um, and at my job, I can't wear off-white. So I have to wear like stark white. So I wanted to get rid of that. This um, is one of my husband's sweatshirts um, that we're definitely going to donate because it's a really high quality sweatshirt, but it's too short on him. He likes his things almost entirely like long lines um for all this clothes and then this black shirt um it's a duck curve tail and um where it goes up on the sides it shows his stomach when he's wearing pants so he can't wear this anymore so it's getting donated it's a perfectly fine shirt it's just um since it's a curve tail if you imagine you know covering the uh, bottom of the shirt coming down like that. These sides up here um, just barely show his sides so he doesn't want to wear it. And then um, the last thing is my Toms. These look so sad right now. Um, I wear them at work and you guys know I work with bath bombs so they're covered in bath bomb dust and they are so completely like ruined they are my favorite shoes they are so comfortable they have served me so well for like probably around a year but today i literally this is so embarrassing i can't believe i'm showing it to you i walked a hole into them so i need to buy new toms but there's no point in holding on to these until i buy new ones because um they are just literally trash like absolute trash <clears throat> 
So yeah, that's what I have minimized or decluttered today. Um, today is my day off. I feel like on every day off, I decide to do a big declutter. I hope you guys are enjoying these decluttering videos. Um, I'm going to probably do more of them as me and my husband decide to get rid of more of our stuff. Right now, um, we live in my a bedroom in my parents' house. We just moved back in with my parents um, because our lease was up on our apartment and we decided we didn't want to live in an apartment anymore. And since um, he's applying for some jobs, we don't know where we're going to end up. So we decided it's best for us if we move back in with my family, pay off debt because we have tons of freaking debt that I'm also starting a new channel just about paying off debt. Um, probably in the new year I'm going to start that channel. So since we live in just a single bed, we went from a big um, like 9,000, 9, 9, <laughs> 900 square feet apartment to a like bedroom, like 10 by 10 bedroom. Um, we have a storage unit that we want to declutter eventually, probably after we move. And then we have a ton of stuff in my parents' garage that we need to declutter. We still have tons of stuff in our bedroom that we need to declutter. And like our closet especially because it's a, it's got a lot of storage rooms. So we've stored a ton of stuff in there as well. So there's going to be a lot more decluttering videos and probably minimalism videos because I am getting really, really keen on the idea of becoming more minimalistic, living more simply, having less stuff, less clutter, um, clearer head, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!